Maybe he needed to step away for a second. Maybe he needed some fresh air after um, hitting me in the head with a frying pan. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't here that actually. There was this creature on my ceiling and it looked down at me. Anyway. Not kind of. I guess that's it. Well, let me make sure. Stand by. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? I'm scared. <laughs> We're this back in it, boys. Box. We're back in the magic plot. I don't want to be We're here. We're fucking around and shit. We probably shouldn't be. I don't want to be here. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be here, but I want you in character. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm swearing I'm off the magic plot. It's your birthright. Right? Out of character. I can't it's stand you out of character. What the fuck? <laughs> and this is me character bleeding. By the way, and I'm going to medicate. I'm gonna you fucking. Later. I'm gonna make that thing eat you, bitch. <laughs> 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 finally, finally, lock him in there. Lock him. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, 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 oh! Why is all your dick kicks oh. open? Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, that demussy so is something. I'll get death rolls. <laughs> the mimussy. The mimussy. Mimicussy. Please hold your regularly scheduled magic plot will return shortly. Oh no. In the meantime, please What's in enjoy the this. Box? Family friendly content. It's a word from our What's sponsors. I'm gonna say it, Sharik! You can handle the drum. What's in the fucking box? <laughs> Silver's head. <laughs> Just don't, what if I open it and it was Chill. <laughs> oh shit, we just... Logs off. Logs off. Oh, but I could... <laughs> <laughs> Logs off, IRL. <laughs> Kills character off slash dies. <sighs> So oh let's God. get our giggles out now. Can it's you tell me exactly what you did with this thing and why you were screaming? Because I thought I was gonna have to fight something that could walk through walls. The circle, the circle underneath Ledford, that was encapsulating that green gem. No, I remember seeing it. I don't remember. Well, I had the forethought. I had the forethought to write it down. I adapted it. And I drew it inside of the box. I then channeled uh, my mana into it, for lack of a better term, I guess, and um, it worked. Just like that. Just like that. No screaming or shadowy people or whispers in the ear. Uh, well, or... it did get intensely dark. You didn't all lose of a sudden, like fifty and it tried thousand to suck me years in. of your life or something. Um, or... But no, no, mm -hmm. I didn't. It worked. That's... Without side effect. Strange. Rare. That you know of. Yeah. I have been getting better at this sort of thing. It shouldn't be a complete shock. I believe shock. you. I believe you. But I do want to see it for myself because... This doesn't look right. Uh, what Was... do you mean it doesn't look right? What color do you see the box as? Brown, with some metal bits. Oh, uh, color do you see it as the looks like same? a chest. It does not look like that to me. 
Uh, what does it look like? Like it's void of color. Vibrating. Like it's unstable, almost. Like it doesn't belong here. Is it a good idea to open That's it? What it looks like. <laughs> I don't know, but this has Opening given me nothing. Opening it will not nothing. affect the seal. There's basically only a barrier of wood between her and it right now. I don't see that being the thing that's keeping it in. Hmm. This is giving me bad vibes. I'm glad we decided to seal it first. What? I don't know. I... Hmm. What? I'm gonna back up a bit. It's what? Right Who's right there? Is it there? Is it the thing? The the hooded figure? I can't see. Yes, I can't see. He's got your huh? hand on his shoulder. Get her out of there. Come on. Get up the ladder. He's pulling you back. I can't move. Come on. It's okay. Kyla. Yeah, I'm here. I can't see anything. Get her up. He's pulling you back towards the ladder. <clears throat> Come on. Up you go. Can you see now? Yeah. Okay, well, that answers that question. It's no different. Nothing's changed. What do you mean nothing's changed? It's it's sealed. That's never happened before. I've never not been able to see, except when I was underwater, in the dark. Who is it? This isn't good, we need to get rid of this. Sealed or not. Well, it's in a box now, we can take that into the ocean and fucking drop it or something. I don't know if we can. Look, at I least it's we... confined to down there now. You can at least see up here, right? I'll keep a distance. Uh, what do you need? What's happening? Um, do you have any herbs for sale? <laughs> Just the hair grass and a water petal. I do only have the one. Uh, only one? Hmm. Okay, um, how much for it? Um, I forget the going rates of Herogress. Uh, I trust you uh, can give me a fair deal. Okay, let me look. Uh, easy cost is 25 copper. Uh... I'll go ahead and uh, I feel like I... 30, just in case, did, did you charge, how much were you charged a little bit more than that? I definitely feel like I was charged a little bit more than that, um, 30 is fine. Uh, okay. I'll put it in your basket here. I'll put this in the basket in return. <laughs> um, Miss Venora. Uh-huh. 
I'll uh, walk with you and get you out of the immediate area. Uh, I'll be right back. Go, I will be good late. News. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just want to let her know that the the thing it's contained. I actually contained it. Oh good. Oh good. <laughs> Hopefully it holds. Uh, I'll be a holds. No, thank you. It might need more layers. I wonder if I can stack it. <sighs> sort of. Um, mm. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, it's just me and Morgoth don't mix. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know I do this like every fucking day, but can I buy an advanced healing potion or at least put an order in? Can you come back with me to the apothecary? Yeah, sure. I can get you one there. Oh, oh, can you place that order? Uh, here's three and a half silver. Okay, we'll work on that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. When, when can I expect it to be finished? Uh, either tomorrow night or the next morning. I was knowing. Without knowing the particulars of the circumstances. The best thing. Shriek. Mm hmm. Uh, um, there's a thing Marin brought to me. It was now a good time? It's just a potential order. She just talked to what? me about it. I'm putting it in now okay. as we speak. Oh, did she? Okay. I haven't had the time to talk to you about it. Yep, it's all good. Thank you. Alright, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> come on in, doors open. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so... You need an advance? Yeah, I go through them about every second day. Okay, so, let me see here. First of all, Miss Sith. Yeah, fine. <coughs> <Just a coughs> nice bandage. You said you learned how to contain it, but how did you learn how to contain it? <laughs> well, apparently he sealed it away, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> I don't know about... <laughs> Maybe it'll take a bit for the, uh, the... Whatever's left to dissipate. <sighs> Mr. Tizzy, the door's open. Here. You can come on in. Mm -hmm. Door's open. <sighs> Not interrupting, am I? Nope, just making stuff. <laughs> just happily making stuff without dying from resin coughs. <laughs> I've come here for you, boy. Oh, no. Mm. What did I do wrong this time? Nothing. I had a question. Would face yeah. all that black stuff leaking in the back corner? Yes, you did, Faye. Oh, crap. 
handled everything okay? Okay, so... Say what? You handled everything okay? Yeah, it's all taken care of. And make sure that I even went down river to make sure. Oh, you did? Good. Is it good? It's... I would sit down with Vesrin and tell him what we've discovered. Yeah, um, he was at the uh, shop. I'm just picking up an advanced healing potion because I seem to go through one of those every two fucking days. Then I'll be just waiting on this. I lent Sif um, 15 silver out of the forge fund. She intends to pay it back, but she wants health potions in case, you know, the worst happens. I hope that's okay. God, boy. I mean, yes. Standing. I suppose you can wait then. Um, He's going to get us both horses. Oh, well, we still have, you know, a lot. We don't want to be empty. Anyway, how, I'll drive. How much is a horse? Has she been reordering somewhere? Once a month. Fifty each. She's been ordering. <laughs> well, we do have that, but. <laughs> so I do. I do in my apothecary for my own use, but since I'm going to be making more, I do have one already made. I would love to take that off your hands, if that's okay. Okay. Give me a moment. There'll be... Seven silver this time. I'm hoping it'll be cheaper next time. Seven silver? Yes, and I'm not joking. It's hard to get things going. I'm hoping that things will lighten up soon. Have you eaten today? All right. Are you still going to come to town without eating because you know you'll get a meal? <clears throat> Magically, one appears before you. Holy shit, how'd you do that? Well, I have some leftover sausage and mushroom if you'd like. <laughs> Seven silver for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. I have no fucking clue what that means, but if you want it, I'll leave it on the dining room in my house. She's tempted, she wants it, but she doesn't want to say yes. Oh my god, you're so antisocial. <laughs> well, wherever you're going, good luck. I'm on my way to kill the Emperor. Wish me luck. Oh no. He's already dead. Advanced healing potion in a dream. <laughs> Holy fuck. I knew there was more to you than the eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, where fuck? are you going? That was quite the laugh, Ladia. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Don't talk to him like that. Smack shit out of you. What are you guarding down there? I was gonna smack your face. You cannot tap me, you dick. <laughs> what do you mean, not tap you, lot? It's called oh. a clam, Sam. Wait. Oh. <laughs> uh. Ah! Alright. So, where are you all going? My god! To my business! Where, where it's my business! <laughs> Come on, Tazim. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. Good, good day. <clears throat> Let's get this out of the way. Fifty silver. For war horses, yeah. We could get yeah. workhorses for 25 each, but they'll be slow as hell. I've never done anything with horses, so I wouldn't know the difference. I can guess. You want a horse that's not going to die from carrying things. Okie dokie. Workhorses are generally very scrawny, underfed, underutilized, better for pulling plows or anything else. Well, I don't think I'm that heavy. I'm thinking more so armor, my boy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's because we're being swarmed by animals. Good evening, my friends. 
Good evening, Jim. Hello, Wilfred. You don't see me, I'm not here. 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 Yes, what can I do for you, my lady? You've both been busy today. I can meet yes. you tomorrow if it's better. That, that would be best. I heard you were able to recover a card. That's good news. Yes. It is in some condition, shall we say. Will need to be reworked. Well, it's better than no condition. Yes. And will make oh. our discussion easier. Oh. All right. Uh, tomorrow morning, then. Tomorrow morning. But, again, if you do need anything. And you link I should be okay for now. Well. Oh, oh, shit, I do need to talk to Neith. I need to remember to talk to Neith. I keep forgetting. I will catch you tomorrow. I will see you then. I swear it. You want my me assistant's to... life. You want me to pack our bags? There's no fucking way I can pay for another car and two horses. Two horses? I thought only one died. One horse is bad enough. What do you want me to do? I told you there are other horses around that we could, you know, find. I'm not a thief, and neither are you. What if one fell off a cart? And neither are you. Did you ever speak to her? Yep, got it sorted. Where are they? I have not seen them all bloody day. They've been around, I've seen like glimpses of them. You know what, I'm gonna save my curiosity. I'll meet you at veterans. There's come in. Did you do that? What open the door? What? I didn't open the door. Did you open the door? Yeah. Was it open? I told no. I didn't think it was I, open. It was unlocked. I just, he said come in. I just told Well him. we've invited ourselves in. What fing deal with it? Good, you can join right. in on this super intense discussion we're having. About what? Um, I'll cut it short. Long story short. The gem is sealed. Magically. And he's leaving. Uh, Come back! <laughs> <laughs> the thing I is do sealed care about your opinions. Oh. The thing. I still don't even know what the thing is. A gem. I tried to put power into it from myself to create a sort of seed uh, that would help me use it as a conduit to make things not so painful on myself and maybe stop the staunch, the flow of this or something. Maybe pour some of this into there. Uh, it was all very experimental based on uh, Faye's original findings. However, this being of different origin, there were side effects, as you know, and if you remember down below Ledford, there was that circle, that runic circle around those, um, that gem. I used that and adapted it to my own ritual to seal it, and it worked. Though it still appears to want to overpour. Sarah went down to look at it. And while it tore, stole her vision for a while, it did not actually attack her. Which one I understand when you just went... 
But when he went down he there, it was, was unsealed and it wasn't even in there. It manifested and apparently fucked up all sorts of shit. But that's good. That means symptoms are lessened. It is contained. I have a theory about keep... about? In the box. It is contained in the box. What is it? What is it? What, the what gem is it? With it inside of it. I, I. It is a creature of sh shadow. True darkness, I believe. Darkness that not, not even the eyes of Drow can penetrate. And it has selected people you... to. So a monster. Him. Yes. Do you remember something unnatural? Daria, when the remember? portal mess opened. <laughs> yes. It's the same feeling as from that, from this thing. And That's I also terrifying. suspect. Yes. Apparently, Sarah heard it say that it when it asked what it, when she asked what it wanted, it said you. That's what I and assume. With... That's what I heard. The way she resonates with it, and the way she's so more affected by it than any of us. I have a hypothesis that whatever uh, plagues her is a similar origin of that, or the same origin. What if I tried to tell it to leave? If you both were dead, would it go away? I, I suggest- hey, to be fair, I did suggest that if I go down I'm not there saying. Die, maybe. I'm not saying that's what we're gonna do. I'm just asking, like, is it your fault? Dizzy, why do you think I was there today? It's funny you say that because I genuinely think it might be. Mm. He doesn't, but I might just be being melodramatic and blaming everything. <sighs> on what is probably just coincidence. Since okay, birth. that that was partially a joke. Obviously, it's your fault, but not because you did something. Just. <laughs> Uh, things are attracted to you, and it's fucking weird. Like, I'm not gonna blame everything on you. There's a reason why Fulgrith wanted to fondle you so much. Uh, my misunderstanding... No, Fulgrith. My misunderstanding about this... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've obviously... gone through the steps necessary... to try and... do whatever strange voodoo you tried to do. I'll just ask the plain questions. Do you think you fucked up, yes or no? With what you just did? With what I just did? No. Okay, Neither that's good. I. That's a good thing. So what do we think we just did about the monster? I think what we just did is basically put... We tied some ropes around it, and now I think it's contained. It's stuck. That radius. It's stuck. How long will it be stuck? I don't know. I, don't I know. plan to reapply and um, add additional layers of protection to see if I can keep it in there. But it definitely is my idea. Back. And he said something that sparked it. Tried to follow with me, but not only did Fulgrith call me some type of key to something you mean in fondle? the past. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I raised my eyebrow as well. But. The entity, when she was in possession of me, she screamed in my ears on multiple occasions of how there is a dark mar on my soul. Something old, older than even her, that should have been destroyed a long, long time ago. And for someone who refers to herself as the first, to refer to something older than she, Vesrin said that Whatever's down there might be connected to what's in me. If it's true. What the fuck? I don't know what that means. What I do neither know. Neither do I. What I think makes sense is I remember sitting down listening to you and Ian Dell babble about something called birthright magic. And if it was explained to me correctly, it has to do with bloodlines. Yes, no, maybe so. I mean, those were the notes that you had found. Perhaps. Well, am I remembering correctly or am I fucking idiot? If your idea of looking at the notes is pretending to look at them and then asking me if you remember, <laughs> I don't remember. I'm asking you. Let me see my wrist remembers. 
I, uh, sure, you ask your I think I was there, and it My thought seems process, to be shut there. the fuck up, Kyla. My. <gasps> Kyla, no one asked me. <laughs> Kyla, no one asked me. Nah. This was my last fucking chance of the magic plot. I'm done with it. You guys have fucking fun. <laughs> No, we agreed we'd try one more time. Come this down, was the last annoying. try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The birthright magic has something to do with bloodlines, yes. Uh, Kyla might have more he can elucidate if he remembers more. I don't remember. Anything. Elucidate me. No. That's what I recall when he talked about it to us. Okay, good. So nothing of value. Thank you. <clears throat> now that that has been put on the table, If something is, all jokes aside, if something is older than whatever it is that that thing that you were dealing with was, does it have to do with bloodlines? Is whatever this is you have to do with a particular bloodline? Because I remember us reading over what it was, is that some, oh God, Ian Dell babbled on about it, three different types of magic. Wild, something else, refined and soul. refined in soul. The way that she spoke about refined were like things from Morogorath, things that were created, things that weren't wild anymore. I guess I don't fucking know. Soul magic seemed to be pulling from from life itself that's what she said how she killed that huge radius of the forest or something or other i don't know and then wild magic the explanation given was is like everything untamed around us forest creatures whatever the fuck what elf bullshit doesn't make sense to me what if whatever this is that they claimed to see on you will be a part of your i mean you're seeing shit that he usually sees by himself. I haven't seen anything fucking crazy. Here, at least. He's seen even more than I have. And also well, that makes me wonder. It takes my sight. I'm used to the darkness. I prefer it. I can see better. But... It's like a fog. Can't see through it. But for some reason, as scared as I am, I am allured by it. I want to know what he wants. Oh, God. Even if he's a babbling fucking monster. At let's, least I'll let's find not out that he's a babbling monster. fucking monster. Let's not intrigue with the monster. What if he knows what's wrong with me? What if he can take it? <laughs> what if he what can if, take it with if him? if he touches you, you turn to ash? <laughs> then... When I turn to ash, I guess. Well, if we're going to be that depressing about it, you can go down there and do that. Or, we can be a little more pragmatic and assume whatever it wants isn't good. Because something that I've learned over our time with fucking with things that we shouldn't... And I'm sitting on the bleachers over there watching, right? I'm seeing you guys, like, your sorts of strange, crazy things. I have my own opinions over there from the outside looking in. <clears throat> but it's the same shit I was saying. That every time I was trying to fucking tell them this. Something like this. Whatever it is that's involved does not have it good It goes bad, yeah. I really, really feel like from what you've explained to me, between the losing of sight, the spreading of black goo or shadow, whatever the fuck it is, and, and the shadow being um, reaching out for you, I don't think it's a good thing. Um, I, I don't think this is something that we should do anything other than get rid of. Like, why don't we have Tang destroy the crystal? I don't know if that would make things worse, or... Fair. Uh, remember that time Tang destroyed that crystal and it blew his arm off? Well, yeah, there was a crystal that we were warned about that was magic inherently. This is just a crystal, as far as I know. Amethyst, uh, yes. I don't remember being warned about I it. I still but... haven't seen it, but... I warned you, don't fucking touch them. Well, you didn't know they would explode. I, 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 I knew they were voodoo. They well, if everything that I touched that was magic exploded, then I would have no hands by now. I would have had no hands th three years ago. 
Well, we've learned nothing, really, and I don't think it's contained. It's still... Is it here it's now? It's <laughs> trapped, but it's not Is contained. It in the room with uh, I saw something ebbing out a little bit, but it didn't manifest. Has it manifested before, outside of this area? It has. And it's not doing it now? Mm, I haven't seen it since. Mm then perhaps, no matter how feebly, because we don't know, maybe you're right. But my my fear is we don't know for how long. The hard part is done. It is trapped. Uh, it might be a lot of a simpler thing to get more protection around it. Uh, Why don't I do it, then? A bit more. You teach me how to do it. And I try mm. to put the protection down with whatever's. You couldn't even. Can I ask you a question? Without losing your sight. This is stupid. What if someone with no talent like you both have did it with your instruction? I helped Silver write something similar back in artwork. Someone mundane, if you will. You sealed something? I helped him. We were... Remember that rock that was corrupting uh, in the woods or something like that? We the did something did similar. That. I helped him write a similar circle to do something similar. I don't fucking remember it, though. It was two fucking years ago. Wait, I... was that before or after it killed part of the forest? I don't recall. That's a big detail. Either way, you have to be able to funnel essence into it, otherwise it won't activate, I suppose. Or Is there anyone that we can go to for help? That won't try to kill us or use things against us or enslave us? I have no idea. I don't know who to trust. Or if there's anyone I can trust. Ouch. Well, <sighs> maybe there's someone we haven't met before. In that case, it's a very short time to get to know if they're trustworthy. Well, trust versus desire, right? If you have something someone desires, they at least won't betray you until they certainly can get it without you. And I'm pretty sure you know how to play that game pretty well, dealing with fucking Falworth for years of your life. Those uh, tablets, those things that we worked really hard to get to open that archway, that was essentially, what, charged with mana, was it? They were charged with... <sighs> life. Could you put the mana into that and then someone could use that on writing the seal instead no, of it coming it directly? it takes a soul like a a full soul a life uh, so we'd have to kill somebody to use it yes and no not an animal a person then I think I would hope we agree that's out of the question of course it is unless okay. we can find by proxy a terrible person I know a few of those besides we'd need the yeah. material to actually make that thing mm -hmm. I'm just spitballing, I, I don't I understand this, blood. so, I don't know, um, sorry. Just trying to help. No, it's, it's alright. I'm glad you both you. It's very out of my My, my worry... Stupid by now. My worry is that whatever this is, whatever you might have created by accident, I, I don't want it to be very similar to what has happened in Adwick, where it emanates outward far more than it should and starts to affect the world around it. Um. Mm. Like the forest. Um, when, when Silver buried that stone that marred your flesh, yes. that's what happened. It started <clears throat> killing the forest. I was okay for a few days. He had... Mm. 
that was sealed it. After we sealed it, yes. So it still leaked through. I see. So, if it's was there anything like one to seal, or did he just do it once and then it failed? I believe he was reapplying. I believe. I don't know for sure. My point is, hey, before you freak out, you've bought us time. That's that's a victory. That's a small victory. We have more time. If this thing was loose, who knows what would have happened. So for now, in Tazim terms, the monster is loosely tied up and will eventually get out. So we figure out what to do before it gets out. I really feel like we could use advice from someone who's in the know. I just don't know who that person is. Here are our options. Fulgrith, who's currently fighting a war against the rats. Gelix, well, who runs the Institute, right there. and the Institute is... Stop right there. Is Fulgrith fighting a war against the rats? Did you hear the same news that I did about Coricatus? About... Let me skip the build-up. There was a royal Erlandi guardsman that was speaking to some of the soldiers out by the farmland a few days ago. They had referred, as they were reading out sentences, to a man by the name of Lord Marshal Godfrey, the new commander of the king's armies, the king's own armies. And apparently in Coricatus, he has accepted a substantial debt, not paid for, substantial debt, to hire several large mercenary armies, armies and have been marching them back through Osrin Pass. Godfrey hated Fulcrith. Hated him. And the first thing that came to my head, how the hell did Godfrey get an appointment like that, and what would have happened to Fulcrith if he did? If you don't know what a Lord Marshal is, it's an emergency position where one man is given full authority over the Crown's military. It is no longer broken up as vassals or feudal lords. One man has full control, and that is essentially what Godfrey is right now. I don't think Fulgrith would ever allow that. So he lost? I don't know. Or when I heard that there. news, I was fucking bewildered. And that doesn't make sense either, because you had said something about... <sighs> you had said something about Fulgrith letting slip once that he was... unable to leave the keep because he was busy doing something. I don't remember what you said. Mm. Something to do with Gavis. I, d I don't know. Um, I don't really know what he was doing with Gavis, but I knew he, he was important. I don't know if it was to keep his power at the base or just something else. Maybe he's a bloodline something or another, but... Well, that's two questions then. One, how was Godfrey, who was advised against and hated by the royal advisor, get a... Probably a position we could argue is more powerful than the king. At least in the time of war. How would he get that position when Fulgrith is still in his position? And two... Not that it affects us, but is Godfrey <laughs> actually acting with crown authority? It's entirely possible that those armies have nothing to do with the crown. His lord commander of his own faction, then? Or in hope, Saraland. What's left of it? Remember, when they retreated from Adwick, he called Gavis a false king. His men proclaimed it as they left the capital. Doesn't affect us here and now, I don't think. But it's something to think about. He actually is a false king, did you know that? What do you mean? A 
apparently his bloodline's not actually related to the Unifier King. Not directly. Apparently there's some hmm. sort of, um... Well. It's very in mishap. character for him. Piece of shit. That's, um, the reason that we went down there to get that uh, amulet, apparently, was... Well, I'm sure there was other uses for it, but apparently it was meant to... Um, you know, solidify his position. You didn't but we should tell him. Get the door. Who is it? You didn't tell him what you heard down there. Round them up. <clears throat> a friend. So it's all claiming to be a friend. Let's not open it. Do I open it? What kind of friend? <laughs> the kind that you share a bottle of wine with. Oh, shit. Uh, I recognize that voice. Let him in. Oh, shit. I could just said it was you. I should know you can't, can you? Oh, good to see you alive. Oh, good to see you. Scared for a while. I hadn't seen you around. I've been on a contract. Escorting some pompous mercen or merchants. But I'm gonna shut the forge down. I'll be right back. Sure. So well, you you're all right. Hmm? Yeah. Just wrote into town. I just, all, right. all this stuff just, you know. Do you know that you're being looked for? Feel kind of hopeless, but. Oh, I was told this morning he promptly left town. Apparently, uh, Good. another friend is having a. Get away from the door so I can exit. It's all right. I'll be right back. Sure. I don't think it would be a good idea for me to go looking for Merrin. Do you know where she is, by any chance? Right now, I don't know. We've been in here for quite some time, but if I find her, I can pick up the cloak for you, and you can come here to get it. Actually, it's best you don't. Um, I'm being watched by elves. I don't know where or when or if they are doing oh, so shit. now. But sorry for coming in. Uh, that's all right. It's all right. I don't think that they're interested in, in your um, situation or right. know about it even. Or if they do, it's likely on the bottom of their grand duties. Uh, her really? shop is on the other side of the main road. Um, if I do see her, I can get it and I can leave it somewhere. What's convenient for you? I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Godfrey has been appointed Lord Commander. Whether or not he actually has the crown's authority to do that, or he's running some sort of insurrection, or this is a rebellion, I don't know. Yeah! None of us know if he was pontificating or not. So. Right. Who is it? That's me. <coughs> Be right back, oh, chat. Sharik in there? Come in. He is just um, taking care of something somewhere. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, the wine with the boat. Hmm. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Thank you for the light at the gate. Ah, sure. Speaking of wine, Jensen, would you like some? <laughs> as much as I would. I'm not just thanks for now. I didn't even have to ride out. Shariq. Hmm. Right around then. Oh, I need to ask. What an intriguing day. Mm. I just thought 
interesting thing. Pointed lord from one. Allegedly. Or he has appointed himself Lord Commander. Not my place, I won't ask. Dogs and the crown of Erelind open this door. Very well. Good day, yes. sirs. Where is he? He was seen entering this um, building. Don't play coy with me, uh, shop owner. Can you can you explain who I have a lot of people who do come and go as you see? Is there someone specific? Don't play coy with me, shop owner, or you'll share the same fate. Sir, I legitimately need to know who you're looking for. I do apologize if I've slighted you in some way. And I wish to comply. Tear but this I do place not know apart. Move every crate, every box, every shelf. Yes, sir. <sighs> Put them against the wall. The, if you're looking for the blacksmith, he went to his forge. If you're looking for the blonde one, he came and went. He was looking for a helmet. And if you're looking I for. The awning. <sighs> They're gonna make me fucking stand up, Bruns. Every single crate, find where he's hiding. We need some sort of distraction or something. This is your one and only chance. What do you want me to do? The man was seen entering the building. We're not foolish. He has been. I told you, he came looking for a helmet and then he left. I will say again, to stop being coy, shop owner. <laughs> By being in the way, you are interfering with the very thing that the Baroness has validated with her own command. You are getting in the way of an investigation by the Crown of Erland. I promise you that I will attempt to have you punished by your own laws here for interceding. It is not worth this. Hand the criminal over. Sir, I do not know which one you were referring to. The one with the helmet or the blacksmith. But you what seemed one? riled up about the one with the blonde hair. To the keep. Tell them I want the royal guard here. Yes, sir. Arlandia, the bad guys? At this point in time, you realize these soldiers are going to go through everything as instructed. They're being meticulous and taking their time. You have a limited window before you feel that your trap door is discovered. <sighs> what can I do? Can't reach the Imperials from here.
I can lead you to the direction that he went. I have already told you. We've seen him enter the building. We followed right after. So unless he pulled out through a window... <clears throat> Where did he go, shopkeeper? He went out left towards the field. I told him there's a hole in the wall. He can get through them. I didn't know who was looking for him at the time. I only knew that there were some men looking for him. Or I would have never tried to interfere with uh, crown business. As you say this to the guard, he doesn't seem to budge. And with a natural one, he continues to stand his ground, pacing back and forth. He's getting more impatient. I'm growing irritated. I'm soon to just hand this over to the barons. This person then hand it over to the barons. being harbored Anything in this there. building yeah, is a criminal. Okay. Here, help us move these ones. Then why don't you come back here with the royal guard? Because we are operating with their authority. Otherwise, I would not be able to do what I'm doing. <laughs> the reason why I'm getting the royal guard is because they'll be more heavy-handed about it where I can't. If that's really what you want, so be it. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Listen, can you stop messing with my antiques, please? These are very expensive pieces, sir. As you shout that out, they continue to rummage through the boxes. Some of them even picking over the boxes. The time is slowly ticking. Let me get the other side. Fuck. I'm being very patient with you. What do I do? Do I mention? I don't do much from stuck here with you. I am operating here. We moved them, we gotta look inside. Yeah. God damn it. <coughs> Hello, Hello Rodia. Could you get way. the Imperial Embassy, please? Could you get the Imperials from the Surgeon's Quarter? Now. Oh my God. Hi. Really? Now! Oh, Hurry! Get oh. Sergeant Sanders! I'm be. Please. Then I have every reason to believe that you might be harboring this criminal, considering. I have every reason to believe that you're mm -hmm. going to try and kill me in my shop. <laughs> Why would I do that when it can be done by your own people? I'm merely here to extradite a criminal. Lord, please go now. What do you think they're going to do? Lordia, please! Best you might report it. Inform him. That the trap will be You're just going to stand Sir. there. Sir. Where she was at? What? We've looked into the trap door. A trap door? Away with you, miss. Put them against the wall. Restraints. <clears throat> this might be a smuggling operation. Against smuggling. <laughs> Hands out. Hands, come on.
This is crown business, you said, right? It's exactly what it is. On behalf of the Baroness. Why do you ask? Advisor Fulgrith. I'm operating here on his behalf. You're putting a damper in this entire operation right now. Open this door. Ah. Having a bit of an issue, Lieutenant. <clears throat> if you'd be so kind as to let these natives know that we are operating with the Baroness's okay to extradite a prisoner, I would be most grateful. Walfall, get in here. You must understand... What this Arilandi says is true. You must cooperate with his demands. Currently, the Baroness Radad is allowing these Arilandis to extradite <coughs> any criminals back to their land. You mustn't know all of the politics behind it. But it's with the grace of the Council we are able to build our relations with the Arilandis. They will search wherever they like, and you will assist them. Our laws on harboring criminals are much harsher than those in Ariland. Very well, if he wishes to continue with his operation after what I have told him, he is free to do so. I am grateful for your permission, Sharp Honor. Thank you, Lieutenant. I'm sorry to bother you at the keep at this hour, however, it was most pertinent. If I have to come down here again, I'll be most upset. Then I'm sure they will cooperate and you will not need to be called again. <clears throat> I hope they will. <laughs> Come along. You can take them out of their shackles. Understood. Show it to me. Here, sir. <laughs> I fucked your guy, Captain. Bitch. Then Tame it runin o I wish she spoke common. I wish I didn't choose oh, to well. do business with you this late at night. Sente. 
Consider it a courtesy. Whatever it is you have going on down there, I don't care. But it would be who of you to be more cooperative next time. Understood, sir. And for the record, I don't think that anyone under the Lord Marshal will care. Sergeant Jensen, that is you, correct? This. <clears throat> You are wanted for desertion in a time of war, theft from the crown itself, and dereliction of duty. What are you looking at? The punishment is uh, death. Nothing. Nothing. You'll be extradited as such. Will you need to be bound, or will you come quietly? I will come, sir, but I'll deny these charges. I was sent here on orders. As is your right. Come along. We are... Uh, I can I can do like two silver max, you know, that is usual barrel amount. Two silver max. Alright. Well, yeah. I mean, technically yes, but it's just, uh, you know, it's going Don't to have think to put about down running. the amount I give you up front, though, that's okay. You know. I, I totally understand. I know it's like the special Pilate and Spice, uh, you know. That's I'll do that back. What happened? <clears throat> of course, not much we could do. Let's try to gamble and it didn't pay off. Not without resorting to violence. And violence against them would invoke violence from the Redonts. So. Not to mention we can't highlight ourselves. I don't ourselves. really know what's going on, that's just what I see. <sighs> you might want to catch him before he does something stupid. I just stop by to check on you. <laughs> check on me. Hmm. But the talk we had yesterday. Now it appears I'm stuck in a smuggling ring. <laughs> Though probably. <sighs> Much the same. Sorry, Seth. Lights are too much. You're fine. I understand completely. So tired. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try something new tonight. Oh yeah? What were you saying? He was trying to find a way out of it and he mentioned Fulgrith to them. Mm. Not much we could have done. No. Can't highlight myself like that. No. 
You said you're doing something different. Odds are they're not going to extradite him tonight, which means there's a chance in the morning to intercept it. Oof. Risky. Yeah, hmm. Very. Considering the consequences that happens even if you succeed, let alone fail. Yes, I use orc bodies, make it look like an ambush. <laughs> like I said, risky. Very little setup time. <sighs> what were you saying, Sarah? I'm going to try and do what Vesrin does. Try and tap into whatever's in here. See what I'm capable of. I've never tried it. I only just learned about the shit two years ago, and I was told to ignore it. It was something to be destroyed, to not be paid attention to, so I didn't. But now I think I should. The last stuff Ezrin did summon that fucking thing, remember? Say again? The last time that Vezrin did this kind of stuff, it summoned that fucking thing. Yeah, I'm not going to do it with any items. Just myself. I want to see if I am one of these birthright magic holders. But walking in the dark. And I was just never taught. Just be I careful. was born in very strange circumstances, and strange circumstances have followed me my entire life. Mm. If I can use whatever's wrong with me to my benefit, I want to find out. As long as you're careful. <laughs> it's my middle name, one of them. Sesame. Well, it's been a long night, and I don't want to be here, in here anymore, so I think I'm gonna call it. Sure thing. Yeah. Thank you for being there for me. Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Good night, sir. Thank you. Some news. Mm. None that I can actually tell you. I don't know Understood. if I did. Okay. <sighs> the reason why I needed the 15 silver uh, joining the elves. We're going to scout the orcs. Mm. I don't know if it'll pay off or if I'm getting myself in over my head. But we'll at least have a general idea of where these are coming from. Perhaps we can do something about it. Before you go, talk to Morden. I think I have everything I need. Mm. He's anyone on the counter. He's a little clued in with this stuff too. He's been looking into it himself. So, compare notes. If you are going to do something. I'll give him a chat then. Mm. Like I said, it's already happening, so I'm going one way or another. Yeah, but you know, you don't have to go in blind. Mm. 
How are you holding out? How are you doing? <laughs> I asked you first. Not on my fucking screen. I'm okay. It's been a long day. I've been all over the place. I haven't really had time to sit down. That's fair. The time that I have, it's been intense conversations. Well then, to answer your question, I'm doing alright. Just extremely sore. Yeah, I fucking bet. It's been, what, almost a week of consecutive injuries? <clears throat> yeah, you should cut that out. Nah. Those bastards. You know what the running you theory all know is. Very well. Not well enough. Back when I thought all of you were dead. Back when I was seeing visions in people's faces in my dreams. <laughs> I didn't have anyone I could turn to. And then you all came back, and then... You all wanted me dead. Jensen was... The one friend I had who kept me sane through all of that. You know, the current theory of these extraditions is right. No. Rather than execution, they're being brought back so they can join the ranks again. A wonderful theory if it's true, but I followed them into the dungeon. Or followed them to the keep and they... Yeah, of course. The dungeon and they're going to say that. They're gonna give him no choice, basically. They said the sentence, but but the thing is, they said the sentence was death, here. but they didn't say how. He was given orders to come here. He would have gone back if they'd simply told him to. That's his right. That he can bring that up. I'm sure. Not going to matter. Couldn't have done much else. So now what then? I don't know. Now they think that I'm a plant for that man. I don't know what's going to come of that. Though yeah. that did tell us some things, the way they reacted. Yeah. I think there's some level of cordiality. I think he's still there. I don't think he's in much of a position of power, though. Right. Which... is probably even more scary. Godfrey is not a stupid man, though. He told me once, back in you know where, he said, Men like Falgrith make me sick, but they're a necessity. Hello. Hi. So, who did you rescue life for? Oh. I think I'm gonna 
turn in. Right. It's been a long day. We have some things to tell you, but I guess it will wait until tomorrow. All right. Something just rushed out of that building, staring at me. Something's going on with Jensen. Yeah, I know. Uh, some people are inside the house, you know? In this house? Uh, I hear. Um, Miss Laudia and some others are in there. He's right in there. You okay? I feel bad I couldn't do more. All I can do is comfort. Miss Ladia blames herself for all of this, and I don't know why. Comfort is what you're good at. <laughs> I try to be. It's at us at the most inconvenient times. Yeah, but to seem the young lass needs some help. I don't know what the seem is at the moment, but I'm waiting for him here with this young lass here. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, or if you have, you probably already know. Hmm, I was in there. I'll be down in a second. I can't do much. I'm an old, well, a crotchety old dwarf, but uh, I can at least sit by you, listen, and offer what little I can offer to help. So, when you're able, you can enjoy yourself some tea, calm yourself down, and when Tazim's here, we can talk. You'll be alright. <sighs> oh, this is a mess. Yeah. You want to talk about it, Ladio? There's not much to talk about. <laughs> Just stood there. Watched it happen. <laughs> and what else would you have done? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> what he asked was impossible of me. <laughs> the Imperials have no authority yet. Correct. What do you think they were going to do? It would have caused tensions between them and it would have spiraled and it would have put everyone in danger. You did the right thing. <laughs> you look so distraught that I did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he was desperate. There wasn't much to do. 
From what little I know, I doubt this lad would have wanted you to put yourself into harm's way. All he had to do was stay. Stay on the top. He said he would. He promised. I thought they were supposed to be in the no, grove. What the hell? He's gone. Why was he not in the grove? Why was Jensen not in the grove? Eat me. What happened? I don't have any answers, lad. Plus. He came into Mirror and Shop and they uh, started talking about things and the Arland he showed up. He hid. Why did he come back into town? He told him to stay in the grove. He promised me he wouldn't. <sighs> Great. What am I going to tell Elle? She's going to be heartbroken. And why would they even want him? He isn't a deserter. He's not a deserter. Doesn't matter. Godfrey wants troops. So he'll lord it over their heads, whatever charge he pleases. He doesn't care. I think that's the scene working on. <laughs> That's a floating S candle. In the seven hills. Hmm? It's fine, I just saw a floating gas burner for a second, it's fine. Okay. I don't know. Why, why would Jensen come back into town? Why? Why? Huh? Idiot. The young lass was very distraught and needed to speak with you, but you weren't currently available. Yes, I was busy sit down. doing something at the forge. I... That's what I said. But, uh, the young lad, Jensen, Ireland is came, taking him to the keep. Why did he come back to town? He must know, have known they would be grow. waiting for him. He needs to stay out. But why did he come here? I don't know. I don't know. He promised me he would stay out. I have no idea. Well, I do not know what to tell you, but the fool has done it to themselves. I heard he went to go talk to what she said to talk to Vezern for God's know for what. what? <sighs> they of all people knew that the town was being staked out. They knew this. Yes, they did. They've been on the other end of this. That's why we took him to the grove. We go to the grove. I don't know exactly what's happening, but <sighs> there's very little we can do at this point. Any attempts to get in the way would be angering not only the Arlandis, more than likely if they're doing this from what I remember. They have the permission of the Redor family, which means you'd anger the family. This is one of those things where we can only wait and see what happens. There's nothing to see. We know what's going to happen. Wait, we well, he's in the keep him. for now. He's in the keep for now. We're not going to see him again. Wait, wait, wait. Back in Redford. <laughs> There's only one person I know in all of Ireland and Adwick that would always butt heads with Godfrey. What are you suggesting? The only one... You know who I'm suggesting. But... Yeah. To what extent? You don't think he did I this? Know. I don't know. No, he definitely didn't. Do you know Can why you... I know he didn't do this? Because Mirren... Mm. Fuck me. Mirren drops 
in in a desperate attempt to try and stop them from taking him away, that he's working under Fulgrith here, and he's doing an operation. What? Yeah. What? Why would he so... I just about no, reached out and fucking put him in the ground. That, in a desperate attempt to stop them from finding where Jensen was, he goes, I'm working for Fulgrith here, and you're messing up my operation. Is he a fool? Apparently, I think he's I desperate. Know who this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. You can't throw that name around like that. Why the fuck? You'll know. The king's advisor. In in Adore. More like the king's puppeteer. Yes. <sighs> this is gonna be an even bigger mess. That god even believed for a second. No, not even that. If he looks into this. <sighs> he said, No one related to the High Marshal would care, and then continued to do what he was doing. So. He said what? That anyone related to the High Marshal, i.e., Godric, doesn't care. Oh, Godfrey, sorry. Wouldn't care. Well, that tells us directly this man is here under the orders from Godfrey. Exactly. God, God, Godfrey and Fulgrith were always at odds with each other. Yes, well, it's not even always. a matter that Fulgrith would know where we are. Whoever it is that is butting heads with Fulgrith, which would be Godfrey, if this makes it back, that his name was invoked in this province for whatever reason. Oh, God, what has he done? I told you it's going to get worse. There's no way he's making a trip out here. No way. He's leading his armies to Osrin Pass right now. What are you saying? He's half a day's ride away. If you did not know, <sighs> Menora. No, I didn't. There is an Aralandi representative inside of Korakadis, the capital. <laughs> that representative is Lord Marshal Godfrey who, taking on an exponential debt, has raised several Gradian mercenary armies and are merci marching them back through Osrin Pass. And I don't know if they're under the Crown's orders, the more I think about it. I think he's finally doing what it felt like he's always wanted to do. I think he's going to take the Crown. The whole reason he's gathering up desertors is to lord over their guilt above their heads so they fall in line. What's going to happen to Miss? He's not going to kill them. To... What's going to happen to you, to her? And her, and her, and her force. She, she was, an, uh, she was with Gavis and them. What's going to happen to her, your lady? Your lady. The one that saved our asses at the pass with the horses. Miss well, Hartford. You know, you say that. You speak in kind words about Lady Hartford, but we recently discovered the other night that apparently the Lady Hartford was close with an individual that called himself the Viper. What? Remember the Wait, Viper who the... killed her father? Yeah. I had thought yeah. that she hated him, but apparently that's not the case. It leads me to believe that the Lady Hartford's as dirty as the rest of them. I don't want to believe that, but... What the fuck? <laughs> so you're saying there's no uncorruptibles in Ireland left? I don't know. I'm not involved over there. I don't know what people's personal opinions are, but I know one thing that Regicide, if that is what Godfrey is doing, is very much against the law and in private interest. Here's another question. If he really has been la named Lord Marshal of the King's Armies, which is an emergency position, which means Godfrey commands the King's own banners and the other houses, you know damn well that Fulgrith would never have allowed that. So what's happened to Fulgrith? 
There is no way that he would allow that. No. The more I think in it, the more I think you make the right words. But what about the what about the elven armies that were going over there as well? What of them? Good question. Who whose side are they on? Their own? Again, good question. Gavis? Elves are always on their own side. What the are you talking about? It's very simple. In terms of God for anyway. Or maybe they sent troops over there to because Bedaria was only burned. It was never the archway that's there was only sealed for how long we don't know. They could have been marching an army over there to retrieve it. Or for themselves. Retrieve. Retrieve stones? No. House Iandar has been seen in Bedaria before. It's probably where they head. It's news to me. I'm so Alright, let's not worry. Let's say that what Vezrin did gets back. Okay. They have no reason to come after us. No. In I fact, don't. most of us have served. Most of us have fought for Aaron. There's ample record of that. So it's entirely possible that he gets extradited for impersonating a crown agent and executed. I hope that's I one. That far. That's one way of putting it. Or they put it up to the ravings of a madman. Either way, it's still an insult to a noble. Or better yet, if they think even for a moment that any of that is true. They might expedite him as a traitor or some other nonsense. Depends how loyal this war guard is to Falgrith and Gavis. Because it always seemed whenever we had meetings with the man, these war guards were always, always at his back. You see, it's a problem. Support him. If you've forgotten, the entirety of the royal guard was trained by Lord Godfrey. It's something that we learned back in Adwick. Lord Cornwall paid for them, paid their wages. Lord Godfrey had trained them, and the men who became royal guards, if you remember, were the ones who were exposed to what we have found under the ground. That is how the Unifier King won Aralon, by using those things. And every man that had that secret was taken into the Royal Guard. You remember when we were told this? So these men obviously know how to keep their mouths shut. Well, I know that if pressured, Gavis and Falgrith would be able to escape the keep because they have that archway underneath it. If it wasn't secured. Everything that this screams of is an overnight change of power. Mm. I know that Fulgrith is scarily powerful from what I've been told, but he's also one man. That is true. You say that he's so strong and powerful, but... If he's shot with a night killer, perhaps it's as simple as that. I wish it were so. Speculating on what is happening over there will get us nowhere is... I have no idea. The, only the problem is, is whether or not... 
The problem is whether or not Vesserin has just stepped his foot into a mire we want nothing to do with. Well, that's not if he a gets, we know that he has. We know that he has. It's if he gets investigated or not. God damn it. Also, really... also, also, oh, the only reason why I could see armies like that, groups of armies under Godfrey going over there, is depending on how bad the Ratman Menace has become over there, too. We don't even know of that. As well. <sighs> there has to be From my understanding. For them to hire those armies, mercenary armies, it would cost more than any normal standing army, and to go into debt over it. This isn't just a continual war against these rat things. There has to be a goal I should be they some... believe they'll be able to pay back. Right. A man might be attempting to take over his country. Wonder who he's going to be. Who is he going to be beholden to? What mercenary companies, or, or even council members, of that matter, depending on I who he got know. in bed with. My question becomes: If they do do this, the elves marched two full battalions into Ireland. Yet we heard nothing of any diplomat or any elven presence of any kind. At least not as far as I could see. Didn't when I was in that castle, I never once met with an elf. Didn't we hear things about that this morning, Tizim? About what? The elves in Ireland. Yes, there were elves at the castle in Adwick. Right, but, uh... They had, they had arrived very early on in the season, when they had just become spring. Right, but I mean this morning, uh, Did they ever leave? a certain traveler told us that they'd been recalled, no? Elves were being recalled. That's yes, what I'm saying. All ramped up. Hmm. There was also that elven diplomat in Ludford, and an elven diplomat in Adwick, and now an elven diplomat here. Hmm. <sighs> I don't like this. Okay. I don't understand much of any of this. I'm sorry. Turn in. It's been a long day. I'm gonna be working on your armor, lad. Right. Alright. Get some rest. See you in the morning. Good night, all. Night, drink.